So far, Lincoln is doing what he does best and getting lots of dirt everywhere. Oh, yeah. And he's eating a pine cone. Cool. How's your pine cone? Is it tasty? Is it good? So, we survived night one in our beautiful spot here. Our tent seemed to hold up pretty well. Hi, Lincoln. Hi. Can you wave? Uh, Hi, Lincoln. Oh. Lincoln! Yay! Say hi. hi! Say hi! He's been waving lately, but he doesn't want to do it right now. So today we are on yet another adventure. We are going backpacking again um, at Eagle Creek Trail on the Columbia River Gorge right by Cascade Locks. It's a really popular trail. It is part of the PCT, I'm pretty sure. And it looks really cool online and we're really excited. Ignore that airplane. <laughs> We got here to the trailhead. Uh, there are pay stations, there are bathrooms, and it is, I believe, was it five bucks? I believe so, yeah. Five dollars, but if you have your National Park Pass, you're good to go. Word of advice, get here very early if you want a spot. We did not, because we had to pull out of our campground this morning, and it took us about 15, 20 minutes of kind of following people to their cars creepily and asking them if they were leaving, because the parking lot is not big. <laughs> And there is roadside parking down here, but people don't really know if they'll get ticketed. And being that we are backpacking, we really wanted to make sure we had a spot that was legit and we wouldn't get ticketed. We're loaded to the gills as per usual. I think I'm probably 50 plus pounds this time and we're actually hiking in five miles and then potentially doing a day hike on our second day over. Probably gonna get some rain uh, we have a new tent, we're going to show you guys that, but you ready, babe? Yeah. Okay, so when you park near the fish hatchery, uh, it does add about a half a mile onto your hike, so obviously that's half a mile each way. But they advise online, if you're staying overnight, to park there because, sounds weird, but parking closer to the highway where there's more people, it's more active, you're less likely to have a break-in in your car. And they do recommend you to leave your glove box open and your center console open and everything like that so people, if they wanna break in your car, they see that there's nothing in there, hopefully. This trail is kind of like cliffside, so if you don't like heights, you're probably not gonna like it. But overall, it's very, very easy so far. It's very gradual, kind of narrow, but the hike itself is not difficult. Oh, just can't run my face. Hello. Uh, so we just passed the lower Punchbowl Falls turnoff and you can go actually down there and along the creek it looks like there's people way down there but uh we're gonna stay on the upper part of the trail for right now we decided to not go down to the punch bowls because we didn't start hiking till 12 noon and we kind of want to get to our camp and get set up uh lincoln's currently napping um, maybe we will go to the punch bowl another day i don't know because we also want to go to tunnel falls 
Basically, there's a lot of really, really, really cool waterfalls on this trail. This is Eagle Creek Trail, about 45 minutes from Portland. Drop some knowledge on this big, beautiful burnt log. So back in, I believe, 2017, there was a massive forest fire here and a bunch of people had to be evacuated. I think about 150 people because it's a very busy trail. I believe, I read very quickly, somebody threw a smoke bomb for some reason down into like the punch bowl or one of the areas and started a fire. So that was cool. So I don't do that. Many hours later. What'd you say, dear? I said we made it to camp. Made it to camp. We picked this spot. We like it a lot. We were a little nervous because there's so many people that a little bit further, all the spots are going to be taken. So this is our spot. The trail is right there. I'd say that's probably the biggest bummer of this spot is that the trail is right there. But we got this nice log for our packs, which is awesome. We got our new tent here, which is okay. okay. And then over here, we have a fire pit area with benches, with some log benches, which is very nice. Might be hard to tell, but down here is the creek. You can hear it. Let's talk about the tent, babe. This tent, we chose this tent because in our last backpacking video, we didn't like how low our other one was. So now we can kind of stand up to change and everything like that. It's pretty spacious, right Lincoln? So we got Lincoln's camping pad in the middle. He's sitting on Melissa's. Mine's right here. We got Zamboni, a sleeping bag too. This is a double wall tent, meaning it's freestanding with poles and mesh. Mm -hmm. And then it has a rain fly, which we're probably gonna need because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Yeah, we're really excited about this because the other tent that we had was nice and lightweight, but we couldn't, Jesse and I couldn't even sit up in it all the way. Like we're, our heads were like. So if we end up having to, you know, hang out all day in the tent tomorrow, we'll, have, we'll be a lot more comfortable. So far, Lincoln is doing what he does best and getting lots of dirt everywhere. Oh yeah. And he's eating a pine cone. Cool. How's your pine cone? Is it tasty? Is it good? Yeah, I'll take Say that. Say hi. I'll take that, thank you. He literally slept the whole way. So that's Lincoln's camping pad right there. It has like this nice rail that kind of holds them in contained. And then check out that, check out that. That's Zamboni's little sleeping bag. So she crawls right in there and it has this little cord that can kind of snug up around her, her just so her head can pop out. So we survived night one in our beautiful spot here. Our tent seemed to help hold up pretty well because we got a lot of rain last night and nothing seems to be wet inside. So if you're looking for a really cheap tent, keeps you dry, we'll link it in the description. Don't mind my crazy hair. Melissa told me I should grow out my hair, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Yay. Yay. My second Father's Day, and uh, we thought it'd be fun to go backpacking. We thought it would be fun to get out here and spend some family time. We just made some coffee, and our game plan for today is to hike further into Tunnel Falls where we plan on showing you guys the beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Hi. Be very careful. Walking under or through the waterfall is super intense, especially with a one-year-old on your back. Overall, the trail is easy but slippery in some sections. Luckily, they have installed a cable along the side for you to hang on to. We highly recommend going to Tunnel Falls if you're gonna be hiking Eagle Creek. It's well worth the extra mileage. Ooh. 
Hello friends, we made it back from the hike to Tunnel Falls. That reminds me, I gotta shut off my GPS tracker, babe. Oh, what do you yeah. what do you think? Me too. I clocked on my Fitbit 4.63. 4.63? Yeah. I got 4.13 on my Google Pixel. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely you gotta go to Tunnel Falls. It is epic. I believe a lot of people do it as a day hike. So it would be Seven. about just under seven miles, I think, if you're gonna do that as a day hike. Totally, totally worth it. We rigged up a little tarp for our lunch break. It's always smart to bring a little tarp with you, especially if you know it's gonna be raining. And Lincoln, what are you eating right now? Cheese wisps. Cheese wisps, his favorite. So we're gonna enjoy a nice lunch. Also, one thing that I always bring with me is 550 cord. So you could buy this at Walmart, you could buy it on Amazon. We'll try to link it. This is, uh, what was this? This is 500 feet and it was like $10. And it's called 550 cord because it can hold 550 pounds and it has multiple strands inside that make it very strong. Another term would be uh, paracord. But we use it to, to rig this up and I try not to cut it if possible. survived the final countdown we're gonna pack up and hike our butts out of here we gotta get going before it starts raining let's go cubby oh. <laughs> 